Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac after birth. We're gonna do the daily challenge right now. It is a Lilith daily challenge. That scares the crap out of me. Can I see yesterday's leaderboards? Yes, I can. I want to see where I ended up finishing. 289, you know, I can live with that. That's a pretty good performance, I think. Um, no offense meant, of course, to Mathis. Kate, that's a pretty good score as well. Uh, let's, uh, oh sweet, uh, there's a freaking, uh, anti-cheat hilarious, oh man, uh, such a cool, okay, anyway, daily run, here we go. Lilith, going to the mom fight only, box of friends, came be in conception, of course, bomb bag, uh, yes, originally I wasn't gonna take it, because I was like, it's gonna cost me points, and then I realized it's probably a much better idea to take it. Um, I didn't realize you also get 10 points for every extra room you go into. That definitely heavily incentivizes actually going to every single room. I didn't, I probably should have looked at that formula a little earlier. We'll crack this open here. I've, uh, I've gone on record as saying I'm not really the biggest fan of Lilith. And, uh, since the, since the Lilith nerf, I'm, I'm like super not a huge fan of Lilith. Um, but I could be mistaken, you know, I, I haven't always been right on the mark with these character evaluations right off the bat. Uh, that's extremely unfortunate. Very small first floor. Maybe planned, maybe unplanned, but either way. Um, I, uh, I could be persuaded. Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to, to actually figure out what, that Lilith is awesome and she's my favorite character and I want to play as her forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Um, I can't believe, by the way, that I only got hit a couple of times there. We also picked up a spirit heart from something. I guess one of the haunts dying hooked us up. Haunt fight is weirdly, like, bugged out now. Playing the, uh, you know, boss end music every time. You kill a little ghost. The, the problem that I have with Lilith, and I've talked about this kind of, like, uh, on a number of occasions. Not too many, though. Um, because the game's only been out for a week. But, um is that uh, Lilith has, like, it, you get the same bonuses for playing as Lilith. Like, if you get a Tears upgrade, your Incubus gets that Tears upgrade. If you get a Damage upgrade, your Incubus gets that Damage upgrade. But if given the choice, I would much rather have that applied to the Tears that shoot out of my face than Tears that kind of follow me behind, or follow behind me like a Guppy's Hairball type situation. That being said, I think it's a cool idea for a character. And uh, Box of Friends makes it uh, really interesting as well, but honestly, as someone who, who is enjoying greed mode, but still thinks that like the regular mode is like the the way that they're going to play probably 80 or at least 75% of their games in the future, the, the Box of Friends nerf didn't seem to make sense to me, uh, but that's, that's my own personal thing, I suppose. Um, I don't remember how deep I can go here, but... Definitely deep enough to get that. Uh, let's try to take these. That's health down. That's perks, which means we have the wafer effect, I think. That's one makes you larger. I thought our other one was health down as well, but uh, apparently I was mistaken in that. Um, we're in a bit of a, a bind here. We could die on this floor because of that health downgrade. I don't think we will, but we could. Can't believe... I, thought, I really thought that was a health downgrade... And then a health downgrade, if that makes sense. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what'll fix frame rate in the game. Close this. And... That should be better in like two seconds here. It's like a Windows arrow thing again. A-E-R-O. Yeah, that's smoother already. Oh, I think it's uh, probably less of an Isaac thing and more of an OpenGL thing. But anyway, this is neither here nor there. Um, I'm now skeptical about using, or uh, conservative when it comes to using Box of Friends, and I think that kind of like undermines the idea of playing as Lilith, is that, you know, you should be trying to get these dope Box of Friends synergies, because you can use it once every two rooms, or once every room, if you have, uh, you know, 9 volt or something like that, now it's like, well, you only get to use it like a couple of times per floor, if your floor is kind of small, so, you know, save it for when it counts. There's a couple, I'm, I'm not firing shots at, um... Edmund or, or Tyrone or anyone at, at Nicholas for the design of the game. But there are some things where I'm like, why why are you designing the game to reward less of what makes it fun sometimes? Like, Lilith's box of friends is fun, man. Why did it have to get nerfed so quickly? I mean, that is helpful that we just picked that up right there. You know what? We will take this as well. Maybe it'll work with box of friends uh, appropriately. But uh, same with on the daily challenge. Not to dredge up this topic again, but like... Uh, you know, why picking up items is what makes Isaac fun? Why is, uh, 
Why am I being penalized for pick up, picking up items? Am I being detained? You know, like all. I'm, I still like the game. Couple, just a couple little design things. I'm a little, a uh, little iffy on. And uh, it's not at all biased by the fact that uh, I'm fighting Krampus here and I'm a little salty that I won't have to deal with the devil precedent. Life goes on. Uh, Lump of Coal would be good here. I mean, here's the thing is that it makes me... Um, the, the Box of Friends nerf, even with RoboBaby 2.0, because it's not amazing, it's just half-decent, makes me want to take Krampus' head if Krampus' head had showed up there. I might have been like, yeah, let's take Krampus' head. Uh, we're not going to because we got Lump of Coal, which is better for us, but... Shouldn't Lilith be a character that's like a little, you know, you, you actually want to use the item you start with because it's so novel? I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little overly salty, but let's, uh, let's move it along here. We don't really want to go to our, uh, our shop, at least not unless we get a little bit more money. If I have the oppor- oh, you know what? Let's just use Robo Baby for this. If we have the opportunity to, I would like to go to the secret room and then maybe we could make that work. Bomb bag's working out okay for us, obviously. Uh, if I could choose where the shop would be, I would guess it's right here. Uh, not shop, sorry, secret room. And that is indeed correct. And then, we got enough money to at least justify the, the time spent there, but nothing else. And, and that's that. Yeah, I guess, like, it looks pretty obvious that our secret room has to be, like, right at the end over here as well. But if I had put a bomb here, it should have found it, I think. But nope, I was incorrect. And we got a special secret room that kind of sucks. Lemon party. Lemon party was our other pill. That's okay, though. Uh, I feel like we're doing all right. We're a little bit ahead of schedule. Hopefully those bombs did get uh, picked up. We're a little bit ahead of schedule here, and um, I, I believe that boss rush will be available, so... Uh, on a uh, on a run that ends at mom, boss rush is going to be pretty important as far as points go. The problem is that we need to get a strong enough Lilith run to actually win. Uh, but we can we can worry about that later. Hopefully, for now, we'll just be content to be you know doing what we're doing here. That's pretty excellent. This will make for a worthwhile shop for us if we want to try to make it work for us. And that is uh, 18 cents there. Fantastic. Do I want cartridge? Nah, I think I'm, I'm much happier with AAA battery. I still, you know, I, I want to use Box of Friends. That's what bums me out a little bit about this. It isn't like, I don't think it's like the Krampus' head nerf where I was like, you know, Krampus' head is, oh, that's awesome. Where I was like, Krampus' head is still really good. Like, we shouldn't get too bent out of shape about it being a six-room charge. Maybe a little annoying. Dice Shard is awesome, by the way. High Priestess, Temperance, we'll just use that. And the sun, and I think we'll just use that, honestly, just to get another consumable plate here. And you might, uh, you know, raise some questions about that, but, uh, and I, I think those questions are fair, but I wanted to, uh, get speed, but also the value out of it, if at all possible. But anyway, I, I still think Kramus' head is, like, pretty good. Even after the six-room charge, whereas Box of Friends, I'm like, man, I would replace Box of Friends with a lot of things, even being Lilith. Basically, that's like a once every four rooms kind of kind of doubles your damage output. But I hope that's not how they're thinking it, because I think functionally it doesn't double your damage output. It just doubles the amount of shots you're putting on the screen. By definition, you know, the more familiars you have, the less of them are actually going to be able to accurately target enemies. So it's it's fine for like crowd control. Like this situation is, is advantageous for us, but uh, it's not like using a book of Belial or something like that. It's actually like substantially worse. But it's also more fun. I really think it was, as a two-room or, like, worst-case scenario, three-room charge, it was fine. But they have access to more data than I do, so I'm, I may be mistaken in that. And we're getting a lot of cards that, unfortunately, I don't really want to take. I mean, we could take High Priestess and just, like, smoke a couple of rooms here, but uh, I, I want to keep the Dice Shard because it can be so valuable for us on maybe a deal with the Devil. It's a much easier trap room than normal. I appreciate that. Trap rooms have been a little bit of my my Everest so far. I've been having a fun time with them, though. I don't think the portal gun is worth it. I will buy the uh, spirit heart. Even though basically buying the spirit heart is a, a problem because it's going to cost us some uh, some points directly, I, I don't mind because the extra survivability, I think, is going to be very important for boss rush. I mean, of course, the mathematically like ideal way to do a daily challenge like this would be never get hit, only pick up items you need, save all your consumables, fight boss rush. But uh, I, I expect to get hit, you know. I know myself well enough to know I'm going to get hit, so let's let's try to fudge the numbers a little bit and give ourselves some uh, 
give ourselves some bonus uh, survivability, I guess. Infestation 2, by the way, great pickup. Nullifies a lot of damage-related concerns, but I, I feel like instead of focusing on, like, Blue Baby and Isaac, I have to focus 100% on Boss Rush. And does Infestation 2 really help us that much on Boss Rush? Uh, it, it doesn't nod, but for most bosses, it's, you know, we're gonna get one or two spiders for killing that boss, and that's it. So, doesn't seem like that huge of a deal. We'll head down to the next floor. I'm just gonna take the speed upgrade. We could have dice sharded it, but, you know, speed is one of those things that's pretty essential. Mm, we should we should probably open this. And the fact that we got the troll bomb to work on the champion there is awesome. We have a champion version of Mega Fatty. It's gonna take a little while, but I think it's well worth the you know the cost of doing business to pick up whatever consumables we garnered there. That was very stupid of me. At the same time, I I thought I moved out of the way, but perhaps I was mistaken. That's okay, you know shit happens. I hate that attack, and the less enemies that could have that, the better my life would be. Uh, okay, you know what? Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some, and we won one that time. Uh, that was extremely lucky. Now, I like when he spawns the dips, because it means that we get spiders very cheaply and easily, but I need those spiders to actually land on top of this guy. Probably should have waited, huh, to do this room until we had already, uh, gotten a charge for, uh, Box of Friends, but that's okay. This guy spawns... Wow! Incredibly potent regular spiders. Um, but that's okay, because regular spiders are going to become friendly spiders for me. We should have a good chance at a deal with the devil on this floor. I would love, like, I feel like, uh, I disagree with a lot of people when it comes to Lilith on the value of extra familiars. I feel like, uh, I will check the curse room here. Ooh, interesting. Not that interesting, though. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, familiars like Brother Bobby... Sister Maggie, they really don't matter that much as Lilith. Like, I would I would definitely rather just have a second tears upgrade or something like that instead of a, a Brother Bobby or a Sister Maggie. The difference is, if you can get it for free on an item room, that's cool. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if you're paying for it on a deal with the devil, I would probably take Demon Baby, every other familiar, except for obvious ones like Little Brimstone. I'd be like, ah, you know, thanks, but no thanks. But, uh... We'll, you know, we're, we can kind of only deal with the cards that were dealt here. So I actually do know what Teleport 2.0 does. Kate informed me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I think we'll take nothing here. As strange as that sounds, I think I would rather save our money for score. Which again, you know, harkens back to what my problems with the arbitrary score formula. But we've been down that lonely road a uh, hundred times already. But uh, Teleport 2.0... Always teleports you to a room you've already been to, and gives you, or it has a weight towards that at least, and it gives you a better chance of, te or a, a chance in, at all, of teleporting to a deal with the devil, so... That's actually pretty valuable, to be able to teleport into a deal with the devil makes that item completely viable. But, I think, as Lilith, I've gotta stick with Box of Friends for now, because it's, uh... Well, I mean, it is a, a pretty big part of us being able to do damage against bosses, uh, and, you know... On Boss Rush in particular, that's something that's going to be important for us. And hopefully, I mean, Lilith might just be too strong to do Boss Rush. I mean that in a positive way. Like, like strong enough to do Boss Rush easily. Uh, as a result, we'll definitely take Horror Babylon. Uh, as a result of the fact that we, uh... We, uh... You know what, I'm just going to take Experimental Treatment and see if we get HP, which we did. And I think our damage went down, but Rate of Fire went up, and then I ruined Horror Babylon. Pardon me? What, do you, what were you thinking there? What was your master plan? We're gonna definitely head down now, because I'm going way... I'm shooting way too little damage. We should have just stuck with what we had, but... That's, uh, that's my own personal problem there. The reason I was saying Lilith might be awesome at boss rush is because we'll get charges, like a lot of charges, for Box of Friends. Which is why I really want to make sure we're getting into boss rush, because that's going to be the difference between... You know, uh, doing okay and, and not doing okay on this daily. I really I do believe that. So we actually have uh, a Golden Bomb. Which means we have unlimited bombs on this floor. Which is, like, almost borderline incredibly overpowered, I think. Um, where did we get this Demon Baby? And I remember saying, if I, we got Demon Baby, I'd take it. Did I already have Demon Baby at the time that I made that ridiculous sentence? Um, being able to have unlimited bombs definitely makes me feel a little bit better about being an idiot. Just like a complete idiot and losing uh, Whore of Babylon for basically no reason. 
going to be extremely potent at dealing with rooms that are otherwise annoying as hell. Um, this is one of those situations where I am like, you know, we should try to go to every single room. But I do have to prioritize making sure that we at least get to boss rush. Again, my, my MO on these dailies is basically get to boss rush as, uh, as slow as you can. If you can get into that boss rush in 1959, then that's perfect. Um, maybe 1958, you know, save yourself a little bit of stress from trying to, you know, race the door. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that that's ideal, and that's that's been working out for us relatively well so far. That's obviously our secret room. Uh, time may play a factor on, on today's daily, I don't know. You can definitely do this. Uh, it, it's, it's gonna be one of those ones that I think is easy enough to beat that it's gonna be close uh, for a lot of people. This is an ideal situation for us, by the way. Uh, to have golden bombs and lucky rock is basically just like a consumable farming dream, right? Like, we can literally just blow up every single rock that we come across, get items like dry baby, um, you know, whatever we pick up from the skulls themselves. And every single one will drop pennies for us as well to justify the time spent here. So, uh, again, you know, should you be rewarded for stuff like this? That's your own personal uh, opinion. I kind of feel like it's a little silly, but I do appreciate having more familiars. Uh, and, and we'll take this... Um, I mean, I kind of don't see a reason not to take this forever. But we might drop it before the end of this floor just because... Uh, the, the extra charges on boss rush for Box of Friends might be useful, but at the same time... This is a lot of points. Like, there's a lot of points at stake as a result of this. Oh, ignore the bloops, as usual. Okay, we can't sleep in the bed. Um, let's put a bomb down here. And we'll just bomb our way into our... Well, we don't need to, actually. I will take Taurus. Um, this... Okay, I gotta stop those then. The bloops are bad, but... Um... Or Not only are the bloops bad, uh, Taurus is bad. The speed downs are bad, but... Uh... I do think it's probably okay for us to take it, and a period of invincibility can be useful, of course. You probably don't need me to tell you why. Uh, if you do need me to tell you why, here's the answer. Because you can't get hurt during a period of invincibility. I don't think we can get it more than once on the boss rush fight, so that's, like, slightly annoying. But, uh, it's okay. Uh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, I think we'll stick with Lucky Rock, just because, again, the ability to farm for points for it is is really, really high. That was terrible damage. I don't know why I thought I'd get out of that without getting hit. A couple more hits. No, we're good. Okay. So we can probably pretty easily get to 99 cents. Did I go to our shop? Did we fight greed? I don't remember. I have not been to our shop. We should go to our shop. That was a sub subpar idea. And also, maybe we should use Box of Friends if we're going to talk about it being useful for us so much. Um, I'm going to miss these golden bombs, man. Oh, there's our Taurus play. Stay still. Stay still. And a deal with the devil, please. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know if we want this HP yet. We should see what we get in here. It's the shovel. Now we have to choose between Whore of Babylon and uh, HP. I think what I'm going to do is pick this up. No, I'm going to dice shard it, then pick it up. And I will pick it up, even though this is... It might seem a little risky. I was really hoping it would turn into a Guppy's... Uh, that would have been terrible. I was really hoping it would turn into a Guppy's uh, paw or something. I would really like a Spirit Heart here. Devil's okay. Infested. Infested doesn't do too much for us. So we're obviously in like a dangerous position from an HP standpoint. And now I'm looking at this and I'm like, shit, can we even get to Boss Rush? These runes could be very valuable. We're, we're a little too slow for Boss Rush unless we get a great rune. Awaz uh, probably does not help. Blank rune does whatever our last rune. It does a random rune. Rune, I should say. Uh, do we want Perthro? I think we want Perthro here. We'll just head downwards. We gotta go pretty fast to get the boss rush. And we may die on boss rush, but... Um, I think we gotta give it a shot. So we're gonna choose this direction. And I am definitely going to spend a consumable here. I did not take... Uh, I did not take AAA battery with me. This would be a great room to be able to sleep in. Oh, Taurus, I love you. You saved me a lot of heartache right there. Come on. We need to go faster than this if we're going to make it to Boss Rush. It's a 5,000 point difference. That's a big deal. 
Oh my god, the shot speed! Well, that's good. Um, okay. This is a room we can sleep in. I'm not too pleased to be fighting Ragman, but to be honest with you, it's easier than uh, a lot of the waves we've been dealing with so far. Beautiful. Take a, take a little snooze here. This is a, it's gotta be enough HP to get us through boss rush, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. We only have like a minute and a half to get to boss rush in my opinion, so let's fucking tear ass. Otherwise this daily's gonna be over in no time flat. I don't know what, uh, where I stopped getting the lead out, you know? If we have to, we can bomb shit, get an Emperor card. I gotta keep moving on this room. These rooms are the fucking death knell for speed, man. The reason I gotta keep moving is so we can get that Taurus play if possible. Every room is a big room. Apparently it's just fucking zombie extravaganza here. This is a shop. I don't love this, but we can probably buy a battery. That's great, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, super greed. That's alright though, because we finished it. If he dropped the steam sale, I was going to re-roll the shit out of it. I think we have to say we're not going to get to boss rush here, so... I mean, no one is more disappointed in that than me. I, I'd like to be the dude who gets to boss rush, but I'm looking at the time and I'm like, man, this is not going to happen unless we get an Emperor card, so... Um, and, and also, every room being a fucking huge room with a lot of enemies does not help. We're kind of getting to the point where I'm like, can I even... Uh... Oh, if the boss room is right there, could we even beat Mom in time? And I think the answer is, as a result of the fact that we literally found it in an unprecedented situation by my standards, uh, I think the answer is probably yes. But we are going to have to be fast about it. We're going to want to definitely get as many spiders as possible. And I'm doing this knowing full well that there's a decent chance I die on boss rush. I mean, first we have to get to it. But I may also still die. I really hope I don't. Like, it's not something I'm striving to accomplish, is to die on boss rush. Just kill him, just kill him. Get in the room. We want the Polaroid. That gives us permanent Polaroid invincibility. No deal with the devil. Come in here. Get ready to perthrow something. The relic is not good enough right now, I think, so we perthrow it. And we get Rotten Baby? Or a second Demon Judgment? I don't know. That Maybe that's KB in Conception that's doing that. Uh, I think we want Rotten Baby. And then, at the end of this, if we live, we can blow up these rocks, man. We made it in here with like 10 seconds left. That's, that's pretty hilarious. Oh my lord. We're probably gonna die. We should accept this. I, I admit, by the way, the relic might have been okay for us. There we go. And now that allows us to get a double charge there. And the, the real reason we're, we're involved right now... And I'm not too worried about death, fully at least, is because every couple of rooms is, uh, or every couple of waves is another Rodden Baby, basically. And every Rodden Baby, uh, is very advantageous for us. Not to mention we're still garnering, you know, spiders and stuff like that. Dry Baby doing great work as well, but, um, you know, if we can get, uh, you know, five or six Rodden Babies going at the same time here, this is a pretty good setup for us. And honestly, if we make it through this, uh... If we make it through this boss rush, which is highly debatable, um, highly questionable, I guess I should say, but if we make it through this boss rush, I really feel like we've got, you know, a, a real chance at a pretty good daily score here. I didn't play perfectly, and that's obvious, but um, I definitely, uh, I definitely could have played worse. Okay, this is the problem with this Joker right here. He's already dead. Killing the frail so easily actually feels awesome, and we're one. Or two hits away here, or barrages away from actually finishing this and getting yet another rotten baby. And again, every single rotten baby that shows up is very, very good. I'm starting to, you know, appreciate Lilith from a very specific context. On boss rush, Lilith is a lot of fun. Alright. Mega Fatty's gonna be annoying here. I really wanna take out Pestilence before. Oh, I walked over some creep or something. That's alright, you know, it, hopefully some of these enemies will drop spirit arts for us, but if they don't, um, you know, every couple of waves we get much, much stronger. We don't actually double our rotten babies every single time. That would be absurd. Oh, we did get a spirit heart drop. That's actually huge. Um, we've got so many familiars that actually, like, as I walk around here, I, I can almost join them up. This is excellent. And it's nice, actually, because it means we've got an even distribution of uh, 
of dry babies, you know, even distribution of rotten babies, even distribution of incubu incubuses. So basically, like, we're, we should be able to hit things pretty easily. Of course, I would prefer to have it all centered in one location that I could actually aim appropriately, but, you know, as is, how am I going to complain? This is pretty excellent for us. And the lo again, the longer this goes on for, as long as we survive just a little while here, we uh, are just going to get uh, better and better. We're actually at the point where we're, like, basically better than Guppy. In the sense that we're summoning so many flies. And again, that there's, like, an accelerated effect there as well, because the more flies we're summoning, the faster we're going to kill enemies, the faster we're going to get more rotten baby charges, and the easier our lives are going to be. For example... Yeah, this is... It, it's getting a little... almost to the point where it's too easy here, which is hilarious, but... Um, that's okay. I will never complain about that. These are enemies that I don't think I've seen before. If I've seen them, it's it's very rare. Those turdy gurglings. Great name, by the way. I don't know, I just complimented myself on my own nomenclature. I don't necessarily feel good about that. I've got to stop walking on the creep, ideally. Um, there's not too many excuses for that. I'm a little surprised this run has worked out as well as it has. But uh, it looks like we're going to be completely fine. We killed everything, apparently. Pin? Pin. Pin is dead. What is even left here? Um, you see those laser shots bouncing off the walls? What's going on with that? I'm a little confused. Is it Robo Baby 2.0? I mean, a Robo Baby 2.0 touches another Robo Baby 2.0 and they love each other very much. It creates like a quadruple Robo Baby 2.0. Uh, golden bombs. Midas touch. I'm kind of like, why would we take it? We're already done with the challenge. Um, but we've done it and we should. I mean, we're going to get some penalties for being. Uh, for being hit, but apart from that, it was a pretty good daily. Looked a little sketchy at times, but we made it, we pretty much had the bare minimum required to make it work. And we'll touch, well, no, we won't touch the trophy, because we'll blow all this shit up first to get maximum bonus here. Oh, man! That would have been very helpful on boss rush. I don't know, I picked it up anyway to cost us 30 points for no reason, but whatever. Alrighty. I picked that up again without completely min-maxing. There's our score. 223rd, a little bit lower than uh, where we were yesterday at a similar time, but I can live with that. And we'll look at our uh, look at our list here. Alright, I can live with that. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It was kind of interesting towards the end. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.